lines with... I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Come back after my alarm goes off. I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule. I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea. A movie about how delicious the Chum Bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the Chum Bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. He must know a lot about nails. some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd rather seek the thrill of toning exercises and rubber duckies. But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. <laughs> Did I get smaller or did these tiki's get bigger? place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a glovely adventure? Not. Nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. A few, a few seconds later. I could do cool things. 
This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Hmm. No. Still not cool enough. Huh? Oh, can I have this? What, this old piece of... magic and mystery? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh. Two hours later. I wish no. I wish no. I wish things. Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest balloonist adventure of his life. <laughs> Balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Nifty bubble! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, Only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, Property of King Neptune. Not for use by mortals. Use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. What have we done? I wish if I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this and this and this. See, SpongeBob? Oh, I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. My rock! My beautiful giant rock! All it's left are my... Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Now how am I gonna remind myself to buy more giant sticky notes? Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Ouch! Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute! 
Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong. I bet it's all her fault. I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Bikini Bottom eat now! And without Mr. Krabs, who will help them unburden their wallets? I need to fix this! Take your wobbly hand off of me! I'm too smart to end like this! Cellular idiots. Thanks to you, all of Bikini Bottom is sunk into chaos. My restaurant is tipped over, and our poor little spot is missing. You could have at least involved me. That's like, you know, my thing. Correct. Oh, no! Sorry, Plankton. We'll make things right again. You have to fix this before someone besides me can take advantage of this chaos. Correct. Why are you repeating yourself? Is your hard drive skipping again? In... correct. Yoo-hoo! Over here, my little blunders. A little dabble, do ya? <laughs> Ugh, my adorable cuties. You survived this calamity. No, oh, Madam Cassandra. We were just having fun, but we accidentally used too much of your magic bubble soap and destroyed Bikini Bottom. And now all of our friends are gone, and there's jelly everywhere, and... 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 I miss my Care Bear! <laughs> oh, this is just too perfect. That's not just any jelly, SpongeBob. It's cosmic jelly, the glue of reality. Your bubble stravaganza must have blown holes through the universe, squeezing the jelly out and sucking your friends into new and strange worlds. That was gonna be my first guess. You have to bring me as much of it as you can gather so I can study it and, um, help. Reverse the mess you've created. After all, I'm at least partially responsible giving you such a powerful potion by accident. Makes sense to me. Uh, no questions here. Excellent. Now jump into the portals that opened up all over town. I can use some of the jelly to tailor cosmic costumes for you, each linked to one portal. The more jelly you bring, the more portals we can pass. Are you ready? I'm ready! Come on, let's save Bikini Bottom from the unintended yet devastating consequences of our own actions! <laughs> 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 Find the portal that suits your costume. Once you have located your friends, you can use the magic bubble wand to return them home. Ooh, I look like 
like some kind of pastoral cattle rancher. I wonder if there's a name for something like that. Sticky sweet. Portal. Come on, Patrick. We have to rescue them. It's our friendship duty. Strong feeling we're not Bikini Bottom anymore. Looks more like the Wild West. Yeet! Oh. Yeet! Oh. Yeet! Oh. Order up. <laughs> oh, sorry, partner. I'm looking for my pal, Mr. Krabs. About yay high, red, likes money. Crab problem, eh? <laughs> I reckon you're gonna want to talk to the sheriff in Manta Fe. Phew, what a fun ride. Yeah, let's get in line and ride it again. Get what Cassandra wants with this stuff. Oh. The only thing I make out of jelly is jelly oh. sandwiches. Patrick, Cassandra knows what she's doing. If she says bringing her jelly will help get our friends back, then bring her jelly we shall. He knew it. SpongeBob, what do you see? Water? Soda? Is soda water? What do you see? Barnacles, it's so small! We'll never fit in there! Why do we have to be so big? Oh, it's not small, Patrick. It's not? It's just very, very far away. <laughs> We're safe, Patrick! It's Mrs. Puff! If anyone knows where Mr. Krabs is, it's her! She probably doesn't know us here, even though she knows us back home. Here we have to get to know her first. Just like we got to know her the first time she got to know us back home, you know? No. Pursue that paraphernalia! Luggage doing in the middle of the desert. I think it dropped from Mrs. Puff's carriage. several 
near-death experiences on this ranch before. Well, it's the Wild West for you. Whoa, is that Mrs. Puff? What's she doing on a ranch? Mmm, I love ranch. Hey, I saw Shiny over there. Sounds like an adventure within our adventure. Double adventure! Landscape. The beauty of nature. Hey, you think they got vending machines here? Strangers, you came here by foot? That's awfully dangerous. You could dry out in a heartbeat. I get puffy just thinking about it. I get puffy after eating stale food. Hi, my name's SpongeBob, and this balloon is Patrick. We're looking for our friend, Mr. Krabs, but he might not be called Mr. Krabs. He could be traveling under a different name. Oh, like Jeremy. Or Petunia. Or Captain Claus. Or Ronaldo. A crab without a name, huh? Try Manta Fay. It's where everyone without something ends up. Could you give us a ride there? This is a riding school, not a taxi service. However, if you take my test, you could get there yourself with your own riding license. My very own license? Whenever you're ready, meet me by the seahorse. We'll see if you can stay on it all the way to Manta Fe. I mean, teacher lady, uh, I need to confess that uh, I've been through this sort of thing before, and uh, I'm not always the best test taker, so, uh, so any chance we can skip this part? Oh, nonsense, SpongeBob. <laughs> A little rodeo never hurt anyone who survived it. Ready, set, and go! scored 35.7 points. Phew, that was a close one. Keep on splashing! You have six points. <laughs> Out of seven. 
Only one point away from passing! Yay! Oh, can we repeat the test? It was so much fun. Oh, no! That's not necessary. I, I didn't know you had fun. Fun is worth an extra point. Here's your license. Thanks, partner! A license! <laughs> think she can. This license only allows me to ride seahorses and seahorse-like animals. With the exception of... Uh, this doesn't say anything about boatmobiles. Well, once boatmobiles have been invented, I'll just have to take the test again. Yeehaw! We made it to Manta Bay, my floating friend. My butt is killing me for all that riding you had to do. It's the sheriff. Now look what the snail dragged in. You may be yellow as mustard, but you got the bite. Oh, don't bite. Too unsanitary. I'm looking for my friend, Mr. Krabs. Have you seen him? He's got big, beautiful eye stalks and tiny little legs. I'm off duty for the dole, sweetie. But hey, if you can take me, I might look into your case. Yo, Ann. Better get yourself a straw partner and make sure it sips straight. We're gonna have ourselves a nice little cactus soda showdown. There ain't a sea critter alive that can drink more soda than me. You're going down faster than a baby at nap time. Jelly bandits! <laughs> Taking on them jelly bandits like that? Let's see what you're really made of. Grab your straw. Chug, 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 chug! Salute! Chug, 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 chug! Cheers! Sheriff, Deputy SpongeBob. And Balloon Deputy Patrick. Are on the case. your mouth when you eat it. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll be out of here as soon as we find more cactus juice. Uh-oh. Looks like it wants to duel.
familiar looking gentleman can point us in the right direction. Howdy, sir. I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Have we met before? Hey, cowboy. Eh, uh, sorry, uh, you don't ring any bells. But I couldn't help but overhear you talking about entering the cactus beverage business. That demands a strong spine. I suggest hiring a consultant to guide you. For a wee share of, um, 70%, I'll tell you where to find the cacti with the most refreshing sap. Folks pay insane amounts of money for them since the shortage. 70%? That sounds a bit fishy. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 70? I meant, um, 80, of course. Now we're talking. Just keep going till you reach them Cacteen Hills. And don't ye scam your hard-working consultant. I'm only taking 90% of the business. Come on, Patrick. Let's find those thorny cucumbers.
Krusty Krab pizza? If that should cover my buns. An old warning sign. It says, Cacteen Hills. Spines, deadly heat, bandits, and quicksand. Enjoy! This seems pretty dangerous, SpongeBob. Maybe there's a seahorse around here in need of a licensed rider. Uh, I think he lost. Oh, baby, that cactus is way up there, huh? So, a little dabble to you. Funny meeting you here. Just, uh, checking on the barrels. You know, keeping them safe from bandits. There's Juicy Prophet, I mean, uh, Cacti, all around these parts. Now get! This is it, Patrick! That Juicy Cactus Gold awaits us! Yeah! <laughs> Sticky sweet! Oh, my God. 
again. I bet I can get down faster than you. live longer in the city. It just seems that way. You do care! Taping. all this sap back to that guy who looks kind of familiar. You got a knack for reaching them cacti. Just drop the juice in this here barrel for uh, <laughs> safekeeping. little saps.
More sad than that, boy. Oh. Activity. The little wormy must be pretty busy to make such big holes. Well, maybe we should keep moving, Patrick.
Is it just me, or is everything in this place like a murder? We melt those cactuses for all they were worth. Sign or something. More chafing. I think we've fallen down some kind of large, dark, worm-shaped cavern. That means it was probably made by a ferocious, terrifying creature, like a goose. Ooh, more jelly. I see, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, take me toward it. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. yet. It's so dark.
changelings. What brings you to this whole place? If you're after gold, get lost. It's all mine. We really, really need to get back to the surface, Mr. Miner, sir. Our friend Soda depends on it. Well, I could let you use my elevator. But what's in it for me? Anything you want. There's nothing that this amazing duo can't get. Good. That darn Alaskan bullworm is obsessed with my gold. Knocks my shiny tooth out. Bam! Just like that. If you can get my tooth, I can get you up to the surface. <laughs> In the neck of a giant worm, where would I be? Speaking as a slob who lives in a hole, I think something is living in this hole! Ew, it smells like Gary's litter box in here. That smell was not me. I swear. A little dabble, do ya? With a bit of gold nugget, you'd be worm food by now. But since you survived, did you find my tooth? Do snails leave slime in the woods? Of course! Whatever you say. The elevator's all yours, boys. Oh, and I don't know what you did down there, but it left a powerful stink on you. All right, let's take that elevator. That should lift our spirits. <laughs> Forty-seven seconds later. A little dabble, do ya?
supplies. Hurry up, Patrick. We got ourselves a train to catch. May I? Funny coincidence, huh? Bandits steal our train and Mr. Krabs happens to be on it. Hold on! Mr. Krabs is the red-handed bandit! We have to get closer so we can bring it back! I know you mean well, but you gotta let me stay! Please! 
You're under arrest, red-handed bandit. Can we say it, SpongeBob? You gotta take me back. I beg you. This old soft shell won't last a day in jail. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm taking this one in. I sure should stop drinking so much cactus soda on the job. Lesson. That it's not all about money? What? No, no, oh, no, 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 no. It's always about money. I, 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 but I did learn that I can't put a price on me employee of the month. I'm here to help, Mr. Krabs. We'll find Pearl and the Krusty Krab and bring them back on the double. That's a good lad. Now, off you go. I'm sure you can get around a little faster now with those new riding skills of yours. There are still a lot of friends to bring back home, Patrick. Let's ride! We should ask Cassandra where else we can find our friends. That lady knows everything! She has this whole planned out. SpongeBob, I need your help. Sheldon's pride would never allow him to ask, but your mischief tipped over the chum bucket, and we need you to stand it back up. We already built a meticulously calculated rig, but Sheldon didn't account for his own <clears throat> slight stature. Excuse me, there are more important things than knocked over trash cans. It's not a trash can, it's a bucket, and it's Bikini Bottom's sole restaurant. I know everyone would love to be eating out of a bucket right now, but the fate of the entire universe is currently hanging in the balance. No biggie, I'm sure the universe can hang in there until we've helped a friend in need. Perfect four! I've never seen a fish like this! Oh, it's you two. <laughs> I wish I, I had knew I could count on you, Patrick. To cover my buns. I don't get why this doesn't work. My calculations are flawless. Maybe we can help. I don't need your help. But if you want to make up for this whole mess, I guess I would allow you to assist me. Here. Use this super velocitous momentum enhancer that I invented to get the job done. Ooh, is that a bubble surfboard? Yes, but I gave it a fancy name, so I get the credit.
Yeah, I've never been in here before, but since the Krusty Krab is gone, I guess I have no choice. Does this place offer anything edible? Technically, yes. We citizens of Bikini Bottom must stand together in these trying times. So, you fools! <laughs> Plankton, I always suspected that deep down you were a contributing member of society. And don't worry, Patrick and I won't stop until we put everything back to normal, so no one has to eat at the Chum Bucket ever again. Wait, was that last part really necessary? Hey, Giggle Buddies, both of you listen closely. I managed to track Spot's trails, but they are scattered everywhere and are leading to all of those portals. Wow, Spot is really going places. I said listen! You have to look for him in all those worlds you're going to. You're the only one that can bring him back. Don't worry, Plankton. We'll look everywhere for him until he's back home safely. Good. Now out of my sight. Oh, my, yes. So much pure, unadulterated jelly, so much raw power. Two. Create your next costume. You should find it very familiar, but don't let appearances fool you. When you step through the next portal. Ooh, my karate gear. The most stylish outfit I own. Getting around will be much faster with these seahorses. They'll be much bumpier too. These jelly things kind of look like something Squidward would make, right? Oh, yes. I think you called them... What was the word? Art. Well, I'm going to call them Samantha. Uh-oh. Not do. A little dabble, do ya? Stretch limos. You gotta stretch first. Big Sandy came this way? She never struck me as a red carpet squirrel. But, uh, what do I know? Good thing I put on an extra layer of sponge gloss today. would have expected someone bigger for the part. But everyone seems small to me. <laughs> Sorry, am I oversharing? It's my first day, and I'm so nervous! Film Sergeant, one minute and 58 seconds. Uh, no, 57. Uh, script up. 55. Uh, just hurry up! Statistically speaking, the director's assistants only last 0.87 days before they're let go. I need to do better. Chop, chop! This way! He isn't the patient kind, or the understanding kind, or the kind kind. I can't believe this is the leading man! This is a picture to capture this train Wow! You're taking photos of us! Are we in the movie? Oh! Do I look bloated enough? I just had myself inflated. <laughs> This is 
a restricted zone. No photo bombing allowed. Ooh, more jelly. The director is waiting for you! Huh? How did you get here so fast? She must have cut the line, Patrick. Lucky! <laughs> That is one big heavy jelly. As long as it stays in that cage, you'll be fine. I can't work like this. Yeah, me too. I'm going back home. Next to that guy. Oh, you mean that big mean looking guy that won't stop looking at us? <laughs> Wait.
those cameras! And those cameras! Oh, and that guy even has a headset on! We must have traveled into the distant future! I think it's just a movie set, Patrick. Ooh. Then where's the craft service? Unfashionably late, I see. Now get to your marks! The director is Squidward? He's got vision, SpongeBob! This film's gonna be a real turkey! Ooh, more jelly! What squirt of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me? I promised them art, and how do they repay me? I demanded a hero, not a little yellow marshmallow. Did you shrink by spending too much time in a hot tub? <sighs> Hi, Mr. Director, sir. I'm SpongeBob. Filming starts at 9, uh, 8, seven, uh, really soon. Can't those uncultured casting urchins comprehend that I am allowing them to be part of what is sure to be the greatest film sensation ever to hit the sea? But don't lose heart. I still have the talent to turn you into a tool of destructive beauty. Oh, goody! In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city streets. And don't walk out of frame. And action! Sticky sweet! of an actor did those at the agency lay upon me. I prop I Hi, Mr. Du Can't the am I but don't lose hope. Oh. In this scene, you must fight your way through gang-infested city. And action! Sticky sweet! Just defeat those jelly things! Sorry, 
know it. Quick, just beat the enemy ambush. We don't have time to pull around. Magic, thanks to the jelly you're collecting for my, um, our cause. Cassandra, are you sure this is the right place to find Sandy? The portal brought you right where you're supposed to be. Don't resist the jellyverse. Instead, take it, store it, and bring it to me. Besides, the jelly whispered that you've done some commercial work. Don't your square pants long to be in the spotlight once more? You're right! If it means saving Sandy and the world, then I'll just have to act my square heart out. Thanks. We're so lucky to have Cassandra helping us. What a selfless lady. to see a wimp run around, I'd be directing Wimp Racer 2, like my agent told me to. This is a karate film! But I guess I have to work with what I've got. Let's start with something simple. A karate kick! Karate kick it! Now, to really prove that you know how to embody a great hero of karate, I have prepared a little challenge for you across the roofs of the city. Now, kick down that door and get moving! I say we wah, kick things off!
feel even spongier than usual. I hope Cassandra is right that all this bopping around will lead us to Sandy. Alright, cooking! Sticky sweet! There's a lot of paparazzi hiding on this set who wish to smear the director's reputation, which obviously doesn't exist. It would be real cool if you could distract them with some of your fancy moves. I will make myself extra picturesque.
The security guard will let you pass now. I guess some guy dealt with the paparazzi. You can pass now. It. A real Karate King has to prove cat-like reflexes. I feel inspiration is about to strike. I found craft services! Those um, volunteers in the box <laughs> will help you train your reflexes. When someone pretends to escape, whack them! Won't that hurt them? That's legally impossible. The contracts clearly state that they, quote, can't be harmed. Well, I guess that makes sense. But wait, Patrick didn't sign a contract. What? Oh, fine. 
then don't whack him when he appears. It'll help test your, um, concentration. Now, let's go. We're burning valuable spotlight. And action. I have to karate kick the crew? Well, I hope I don't hurt them. Not worse. I love it. Well, okay. Making movies sure is a weird process. You're not entirely useless, as long as you keep moving. Now head back onto the streets. The next screen test is about to start. Go! this scene, your nemesis tried to rob a bank and left nothing but chaos. Innocent bystanders got stuck in the ground and need their hero. Believe it or not, that's you. Save them before the time runs out. And action! Some villain buried people under rubble! Who could have done this? It wasn't me, SpongeBob, I swear! Oh, thank Neptune. I never doubted you for a second, buddy. Sticky sweet!
Maybe some other time, though. Hey, thanks for saving me. Let's do this again To my genius, your performance has become tolerable. Now go ahead and strike some heroic karate poses for the press. me and disappear into your carriage. Remember why you're there. To get me more jelly. Uh, don't you mean to save Sandy? Right, of course. And also to save your squirrel friend. Wasn't a cheetah. Whatever. Hop into the red boat and chase down your nemesis. But I don't have a driver's license. Throw your squishy bottom on some vehicle you're allowed to drive and get on with it. Order up. Thank you. 
seat no slip pedals definitely has the cool factor this is my ride baby i almost forgot to mention all the danger is real and we've taken no safety precautions to up the drama Drives like a maniac. Yeah, a maniac who loves barbecues. What a nut job! We need to bang them in a specific order. Karate kick those guns! Bob to the rescue! 
Hey, you got those jelly guys again. I hope we can use stunt, man. this film would be a train wreck, but the director went all out. Those jelly extras were very convincingly beating me up. Well, we thespians do take our jobs pretty seriously. And his choice for the villain? Wow! I just caught a glimpse. That's a wild animal if ever I've seen one. <laughs> This Zen garden is so calm. Ah, oh, you said it. Whoa! Go Zen Garden! A little dabble, do ya? Talking cheese. You're not getting paid an exposure for chit chat. If you want to convince my audience you're the real Karate King, you better show them some impressive acrobatics. Now, run across the roofs of the skyscraper to get into your nemesis fortress. Could I just use the elevator? No! And action! A little dabble, do ya? Sticky sweet!
sauce. It would have been great if the elevator was working. Well, it probably was working. But now it's not. these cranes. Ooh, I'm thinking pasta? I'm feeling better already.
It's Sandy! I mean, oh, look, Sandy! Well, if that ain't the sponge they call Bob, then his biggest Dallas balloonatic partner Patrick's dead through my door. Actually, we came in through the roof. Is that right? Well, you'll be leaving through the floor, cause I'm in a mood, and my mood is coming Nobody mm -hmm. watches a film for the dialogue. My audience demands colors and motion converging into visual conflict. We need crash, boom, bang, not yap, yap, yap. Now throw out the stupid script. There's a script? And action! <laughs> Managed to rewind their climactic karate Sponge class Bob! with the Sponge power Bob! of Cosmic Jelly. Spongebob! Did that explosion give you a concussion? You remember to sign the waiver, right? I never thought you'd pull it off. But that was actually fantastic! I can already see the sequel. Nay, the trilogy. Let's start shooting immediately! Light, camera, sound! From the top, people! And... No problem, Sandy, but there's still a lot to make right again. See you around! I'm glad Sandy and her weird house came back, but I want my house back too! I hear you. Cassandra will 
will help. She's the most trustworthy person we know. 